Hey there, welcome back to another episode of This Guy's Thoughts. Just like every time, I appreciate taking time out of your busy day to watch a review. Uh, tonight, I'm taking a look at one out of uh, Ithaca Beer Company. Um, been in the craft beer for very long. You've heard of the Flower Power IPA from Ithaca Beer Company. Very popular IPA. Several reviews of this uh, done on um, all over YouTube, all over the internet. You can find... Uh, just tons of reviews on this. I figured it's time that I finally break down, buy it, hopefully enjoy it, and film a review on it. All right, this is coming in at 7.2% alcohol by volume. So, get a look at the artwork there. It's got that that hippie, it kind of reminds me of Mountain, just Mountain Dew, the way I guess it's worded in the color of the can there, but it's got that hippie flower, uh, flowery uh, 70s uh, vibe going on on this here in the logo there. Uh, so I did do a little bit of research online. I wanted to read a little bit about this, okay? So I've seen several reviews on this, but this here says uh, Ithaca Flower, this is an article from 2019. Ithaca Flower Power IPA ranked one of the most important U.S. craft beers ever. I uh, see here, it says that we got... Uh, Let's see here. It says this beer is credited for uh, helping bring so-called West Coast hop influence to the East Coast when it debuted in 2004. Uh, its role in the surging popularity of American craft beer is recognized in a list of the 25 most important American craft beers ever brewed. And that was uh, by a panel of... Uh, uh, food experts, a wine, uh, food and wine magazine. There's some beer experts in there. Um, you can look that up if you're interested in that. But I just want to get on with this. Um, so this says the Amer the modern American IPA evolved on the West Coast, where the vast majority of hops were grown and new varieties were being cultivated. East Coast IPAs rarely showed the same oomph as their West Coast brethren. But in 2004, Ithaca Beer Company's Jeff O'Neill changed that with flower power. It was recognized as one of the first uh, West Coast-style IPAs brewed here in the Northeast. Uh, let's see, flower power captured the true power of the hop flower, the origin of the name. So the origin of this name beer is due to the hop flower. Uh, with its clovey, that's a clovey, with its clover honey hue, lush floral flavor, and robust fruity aroma from numerous hop additions in the kettle as well as dry hopped. Uh, let's see here. So I don't really know what all the hops are uh, in this beer. I do know, I think there's about a half a dozen of them between the kettle and uh, the dry hop. Uh, dry hopping of this. So, as far as the artwork on this, uh, I'm gonna give it about a uh, I'm gonna give it about a four out of five. I do like the whole thing. I like the whole vibe going on there on this thing. And this is a 16 ounce can. Uh, I do not remember what I paid for this. Um, I don't think it was in a build your own. And maybe I got. I really can't remember if I picked this up at IGA, at Kroger, at the Bruce, at the uh, bottle shop, at uh, Jungle Gyms. I have no idea where I picked this up at. I can't remember. Uh, but we're gonna crack it open here, and. Uh, See what it is all about. Wipe that top off a little bit there. All right, so we'll use the uh, IPA glass here. And we'll get a pour in here. See what we got going on. So when it first came out, I thought it might be a, a lighter golden color. But as it poured, it definitely darkened up. And I can already smell that fruitiness just floating around here. So, look, we got a white head on this. About four fingers of a massive head. Not the greatest pour uh, that I've ever had. But as far as color on this, uh, just a light ambery color. Honestly, light ambery, maybe uh, with an orangish uh, tint to this. Almost golden looking, I guess you might say. Uh, head on there, like I said, we're down to just over about three fingers on this. Just a fluffy white creamy head in this thing right here as far as the nose so there's a lot more tropical aroma on this than i'm than i thought i was going to get so pineapple -y, mango sweetness to this it smells like it could be a bit hoppy now the ibu on this i'm not sure what it is right now um, but i think uh, one of the reviews that I read said about 75. I do not know if that's 
uh, truly what it is, but whatever I can find, I'll have it uh, somewhere down here, over there, somewhere around the screen here for you to see. So, just kind of a mild, mild piney resin uh, to this, uh, but mostly tropical notes is what I'm picking up on this. Maybe a bit of a candied, sweet, tropical uh, nose on this thing here. So, I'm kind of excited to get a drink on this, so cheers. It's nice. Nice hoppy. Oh, God. Yeah. It's got that hoppy breath. I'm breathing out that hoppy breath right now. So I'm going to get another drink on before I break this down. Okay. Nice hoppy bitterness to this. The minute it hits, boom, you can feel that, you can taste that, that like sweet, uh, sweet tropical fruit. As it passes midway through the tongue, midway through the mouth, that's when those hops really kick in and it just goes all the way down. Um, at 7.2, 7.5% ABV, whatever it was, I do pick up a mild um, alcohol taste to this, um, but it, it's very, very mild. Body, full body mouthfeel. To me, this comes across as a thick, chewy, full body beer. Hoppy. If you if you like hoppy beers, um, is this the biggest in your face, punch you in the mouth, hoppy uh, flavor? No, but if you like hoppy beers, this is a nice hoppy beer. Just a bit, just a bit of a of a multi pininess um, to this, almost a, like a multi um, earthy earthiness to it, I guess. A um, bit of a piney, a piney backbone to this, but not as piney as I thought it might be. Mostly, what I take away from this: hoppical, hoppical, hoppy, tropical, full body. Very good, delicious. Something that if you're a craft beer uh, person, an IPA lover, this is probably on your bucket list, or it should be. It was on mine. I finally broke down, picked it up, and said, what the hell, I'm going to do a, a review on it, see what it's all about. It is a very popular IPA. As I read there, very uh, influential IPA in the craft beer uh, world, I guess. So, hey, as far as scoring this, no, I'm good with just over a 4, 4.15 out of 5. No problem drinking this. Uh, no problem drinking this again. Um, anyhow, like, subscribe, comment, uh, check me out on social media. Be sure to give the video a big thumbs up for me, okay? Drop a comment down below. And please, please subscribe and uh, share the hell out of the video.